Ronnie King Coleman, and Big Rammy. Now that is a lot of beef on the hoof, a lot of meat on the hoof. These two dudes, probably close to 300 pounds on stage, each of them. This is part of your You Pick 2 2 Tuesday, wah, 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 Tuesday lineup. 2003, Ronnie Coleman, of course, his biggest, baddest version. And just last year, the last time we have seen Big Rammy, and I've done a 2020 versus 2003 Ronnie Coleman, but the, I never did this uh, actual comparison. You want to see the rest of these ones? Marco Savalainen, Nick Walker, things of that nature, the rest of the comparisons. Get this here video up to 500 likes, so pause it, go hit the thumbs up. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe to the channel. Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, anyway. Yeah, get it up to 500 likes. I'll do all the rest of those requests. But let's get to the business at hand. These two big dudes. It's obvious to me, Ronnie Coleman, Ronnie King Coleman, he's just going to be too much for uh, Big Rammy. Structurally speaking, these two guys... <laughs> So much different. Ronnie Coleman, long-legged, short-torsoed individual. But, I mean, look at the lats. Look at the lats. Big Rammy, shorter legs. And I think that's why Rammy's legs look so thick. Very thick. Because there are a shorter th femur, thigh bone, femur. Yeah. Walter, Walter, this is Walter. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, Big Rammy's good. He's good. Bicep peaks, things of that nature. But Ronnie Coleman, some of the best bicep peaks of all time. Here's a closer up shot. And it is definitely difficult to size when you don't have the whole body. But you could see from that last picture, guys, that Rammy, he has short, short quads. And that's why Ronnie Coleman, he had some of the biggest dinosaur lags of all time. His quads made uh, Jay Cutler's look small in size because they were thick and they were long. So, you know, if you have long quads, a lot of the guys with longer quads, harder for them to fill them out. But when they do, you know, monster time, monster time. There's a definite aesthetic appeal of a big Rammy's front double bicep. Gotta give him his props. He looks good. But that negative body fat percentage of Ronnie Coleman... Each and every one of those muscles just bulging. Front lats bred, and it seems to me that it seems to be. Big Rammy would be in trouble. But you know what? Throw all the big dudes in this lineup, in a big lineup, and I think Big Rammy would probably hold his own against Ronnie Coleman better than anybody else. I mean, this guy's, like I said, near 300 pound. What was he, 2 290? To whatever he said. Bob Ciccarello asked him how much he weighed. <laughs> oh, Bobby boy. He is a funny guy. Good voice, though. And ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, anyway, yeah. Ronnie Coleman. Funny looking turtle head, but I mean, wow, wow. Look at the pecs, the lats, each and every muscle on him. Like I said, nobody was as big and as conditioned. Side chest. Um... I can, I can hear you guys now. But Mark's Max Muscle, why did you make Big Rammy so short? He's as tall as Rep, uh, Ronnie Coleman. No, he's not. He's probably an inch shorter. Ronnie Coleman stands tall in the, in all of his poses. You can see from the two front ones, he'd, he'd go straight like it. But in this one here, Big Rammy sits down. It's like he's sitting on an, uh, an imaginary chair, which I guess would be his glutes and his hamstrings. That's a chair, right? Hmm? Big pecs, but you can look at the the ripped condition of the pecs of Ronnie Coleman, and I do criticize Coleman's side chest. His delts are over-domineering, but all in all, obviously, you're going to give it to him, right? Side tricep is the weakest shot for Coleman, and again, yes, size them. It, it's going to be a venture, because Coleman stands up a lot taller than... Uh, than Ram Man, Ram Rod. But this is Coleman's, what, his worst pose? And he looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. And that's what it takes to be one of the greatest of all time. You can't be walking around with any weak shots, weak poses. And like I said, maybe his weakest. And it is a strong pose. It would be in a lineup. You know what I mean? Look at the look at the striations and those tricep meats. Rammy's good too. Rammy's not bad. 
proper, that's a proper shout out to Louis Marco. He did a live feed. What was it last night? You guys watch that? Watch that uh, live feed, Louis Marco? Haven't seen him in a while. So yeah, shout out to Louis Marco. Here is a couple of box. Big box. Remy has that long torso. This is his best of the two back shots, Remy, Ramrod. Hitting it differently. Coleman showing the traps. Showing the traps. And uh, Ramrod, a little uneven, sure. But he's, you know, he's huge. He's a bus. He's massive. Now, lower half, Ronnie Coleman's winning. Because he's bigger. Big. I don't know why he was so gosh darn big. If he didn't get so big, I wouldn't have had to be so big. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Uh, Coleman... He has butterfly buttocks, the likes of which that I have never seen. Makes Big Rammy's glutes look like a baby donk. But kudos to Ramrod. He's in condition. He's just as conditioned. Here's the rear double. And yeah, look at the condition of Big Ramrod. Ramalama ding dong. Ram phallus. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, Rammy kudos he has probably negative three body fat percentage too and this is why he's winning olympias now and he was not before and he admitted that that it was a condition issue some lower lat insertions he's missing out on that ronnie coleman has ronnie's just a big colossus just a bigger dude and when all things are equal condition wise which you know i think ramrod hamstrings you take a close look he is peeled so peeled. This sounds like Kermit the Frog. Maybe Miss Piggy. Eh, yeah, abs and thigh shot. Miss Piggy. I think I think Miss Piggy and uh, Kermit the Frog were done by the same voice. Huh? Could you imagine that one? Now this one here, arguably, again for uh, Ronnie, King Ron. Yeah, buddy. I can't stop eating. Yeah, this is... Uh, Who's going to beat this? I mean, not the prettiest shot in the world. Maybe a tiny bit of a, a scrape of a Fig Newton. Maybe some double bubble. Maybe. But just so much ripped, strided muscle that I guess it doesn't really matter where it's put. It's there. It's in our face. It's just huge. It's just huge. This Coleman. And he's beating Big Rammy in the abs and thigh. And this was a good shot for Ramrod at some points of his career. For sure. For sure. Here's the most muscular. Of course, Ramrod, he gets so dry, and then he's got to fill up. And that takes away from the ab separation, too, I can imagine. Which you see from uh, the king. The king, too. He's got a slight stomach distension. You ever notice that his midsection, his ab muscles, they look like Lee Priest hitting a, uh, a what was it, a victory shot? Crucif not a crucifix, a victory pose. Looks like Lee Priest. His abs? Looks like Lee's arms? Hmm? No? You guys don't see that? Come on, come on. Give me a break here. And give us a break. Condition-wise, Big Rammy holds his own. So kudos. It's a victory in its own right to be able to do that with King Coleman. But obviously, guys, Ronnie King Coleman's going to win this one. 2003 Coleman beat 2020 Big Rammy. 2020 Big Rammy beat 2021 Big Rammy. Mathematics. Put it in your calculator. But you guys voted on this one. You guys wanted to see it. You wanted to see Big Ron be the victor and crowned king of the bodybuilding world, which he is. Yeah, buddy! Mm, lightweight, 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 baby! Give me some peanuts! Mm, 200 pound dumbbell! Just a peanut to me! Mm, damn! Mm, that was light! Hit thumbs up, guys! Have a good one!